What is up guys, Brad, the budding watch enthusiast here with you again, here on Watch With Us. So nothing for me quite replicates the, the feeling, uh, the excitement of getting in a brand new watch that you purchased. However, I'm not a wealthy man. I don't have the means to be purchasing new watches all the time just to get that really sweet endorphin rush. So you know it's kind of close to the feeling though of getting a new watch? is getting a new watch strap. I've learned very quickly in my short time as a watch collector uh, that getting some new watch straps is a great way to kinda, to kinda get that same feeling because you can give your existing watches all new looks. Uh, you can really change up the, the style of the watch. You can change up you know, what you can pair it with and all that jazz. And you can do it at a fraction of the price unless you buy like a ton of straps all the time and then you're spending as much money as you would have bought to do a new watch, but whatever, tons of great watch straps out there. So today in this video, I'm going to give you my four favorite watch straps uh, that I own. And it actually just so happens that these four straps happen to fall into four different categories. So we have a nylon strap, a canvas strap, a rubber strap, and a leather strap. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first ones we're gonna talk about here are my favorite nylon straps. And this company is actually kind of a new development for me. Uh, it's a strap that I discovered recently when they actually sent in a few samples that I reviewed over on my channel on the Budding Watch Enthusiast, and that is Mora straps. Now Mora makes a very slick, uh, very tightly woven NATO, very soft, very comfortable, but they're not seatbelt style. It seems like everyone nowadays that has like these soft NATO straps are always doing seatbelt style straps, but these are regular NATO straps, but it, but they have that same soft feeling as uh, as seatbelt straps. I'm actually wearing one right now on my uh, Sal Baltimore torso diver that I'm wearing today, a Bond style uh, NATO from Mora watch straps. I just found these to be really impressive. The hardware on them is excellent as well. I can't remember if it was more themselves that said it, uh, but they compared these of a quality similar like the Tudor nylon straps or the Omega nylon straps. I can't speak to that. I've never gotten to experience those before, but when I got these in and got to wear them for a couple weeks, surprisingly, they went right to the top of my list. I thought that nothing uh, would knock off the Toxic NATO's Shiznit strap, which used to be my number one nylon strap, but these more straps are excellent. The other thing I love about them as well is most NATO straps you buy tend to be between 270 and 300 millimeters, uh, which is 300 is is in my kind of comfort range, but I always like to have a little bit more length. These more straps are 330 millimeters, so great length, especially if you have larger wrists like me. Now these straps are a little pricey, they're $32 a piece, and because Mora is a newer company, color options are limited. They kind of, I know they have black, gray, they have the Bond style, and they have the vintage Bond style as well, but hopefully we'll see more colors from them down the road. I know they also run a buy two, get one free sale, so if you buy three straps, you can save a lot of money that way. Again, I did a full review of these on my channel, so if you click on my link in the description below, you can go check that out if you want. But yeah, more straps, fantastic new company, uh, my favorite nylon strap currently out there on the market. For canvas straps, in my mind, there is only one choice to go with, and that is Haviston straps. I absolutely adore uh, this Haviston canvas strap. I've seen a couple other canvas straps out there. They can sometimes be a little rigid and stiff. These Haviston straps, they're super soft, they're super comfortable. Uh, they're single pass, which is also fantastic. Canvas is always gonna be a little bit thicker than nylon anyway when it comes to straps, so having single pass really cuts down on the amount of bulk. I love the the mill style straps that have the fixed first keeper and the no tuck look. You can slide the second keeper. That's what they use on these Haviston straps as well. The hardware they use on them is great also. Ever since I got their canvas strap, uh, I put it on my Hamilton khaki field and it has not left that watch uh, since I've gotten these straps. It, it's a perfect pair, super soft, super comfortable. Haviston also makes a pretty mean nylon strap as well. I have a couple of those. Uh, it's that same mill style, that same no tuck style, uh, which I know a lot of people like. Again, single pass too. Just tremendous quality and just really the feel of a premium product uh, for these Haviston straps. They come in at a little bit below $29 US. Uh, the company's located in the UK, so the prices are always uh, converted from British pounds, but a great price on these. I think that they have a constant coupon running as well that if you buy two or more straps, uh, you can get 10% off. I know they used to make 
uh, these little strap bundles that you can get. I guess you can kind of build your own now, which is pretty slick. Yeah, check out Havisted if you haven't. Just really tremendous quality straps. Uh, and their canvas ones for me are the undisputed champion. I've, I've yet to see another canvas strap out there that is as good as the Haviston. Next up, my favorite uh, rubber slash, I guess silicone strap, because this is a silicone strap that we're going to talk about here. And that is the Barton Elite Silicone Strap. Barton is a company that I love because they have straps whose quality uh, is far above the price that they're charging for them. This Elite Silicone Strap, only costs $20. It is one of the softest straps that I've ever used. The biggest problem that I have with rubber straps is they can be very across the board in terms of fit and in terms of feel. Again, the fact that these are silicone make them super soft. They hug your wrist excellently. Uh, the quick change pins are fantastic. The other thing I love is that they are very concentrated on getting you a perfect fit. So when you buy the Elite Silicone, it actually comes with two long pieces in the package. One is really long and the other one is more of a regular length. So whether your wrist is shorter or longer, you're going to have the proper length strap to get the right fit that you're looking for without having like an excessive amount of tail or without you know having to use the very last hole in the strap. They also have a really cool feature of this keeper uh, that has a notch in it that kind of matches the very end of the tail that can lock that keeper in place so it's not constantly sliding around on your wrist. It's another problem that I sometimes run into with certain rubber straps. The other great thing about the Barton Elite Silicones is that there is a wide, wide variety of colors uh, and, and a lot of times the uppers and the lowers will be different colors so you can get a little bit of flare of, uh, of extra color on the lower part while still having a more traditional upper part if that's what you're looking for. Again, 20 bucks each. These are fantastic for sports watches. They're excellent for the summertime. Uh, I need to go load up and buy some more because I, I need to, they, they just released some new colors that I wanted to pair with some of my watches. So yeah, the Barton Elite Silicone Straps. I think that if you are a rubber strap fan uh, and you haven't tried these yet, you should at least pick a couple up, check them out. I love them to death. And finally, my favorite leather strap that I've used so far. This is gonna be a little bit of a cop-out. So I don't, I don't use a lot of leather straps. That's not really my preferred style of strap. I'm also a cheapskate <laughs> when it comes to stuff. It's very difficult for me uh, to spend, you know, like over $50 on a leather strap, even though I've seen some amazing quality leather straps out there that of course are in like the $100 to $200 range. Uh, but for a more budget-friendly price, believe it or not, Blue Shark uh, is the company that has made the nicest leather strap that I've used so far, and that comes in their Blue Shark Horween leather straps. Now again, this is a jerk move. These were only available for like a limited run. I guess they got a really good deal on a, a, a lot of Horween leather, and so they fashioned some straps out of them, sold them for a very limited time. I don't know if they're ever coming back, but yeah, these were great, super comfortable. Again, Horween leather is gonna be a little bit more comfortable. It's a lot more supple, a lot more pliable, a little bit thinner. Um, I love how these feel on the wrist. I love the look that it gives, especially when you're using it with watches that have a much more vintage style to them. I've really enjoyed seeing how the strap has patinaed so far. I've had it for a little over a year now, I think at this point, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, the patina has been really nice. It really matches the aesthetic of certain watches. This is not something that you can wear with like a very modern sporty watch. But again, if you have something that harkens back uh, a little bit more to a vintage styling. I think they look fantastic. The only negative on these uh, is it's using the same Blue Shark hardware uh, that their NATO straps use, or at least it is on the buckle. So it's it's got this very thick and chunky uh, like buckle on it, which it's a little it's a little much. It hasn't really bothered me so far because the straps also don't taper at all, so it kind of fits, but that might be the only thing that's like a turnoff for you uh, if you happen across these at any point. I think they were like 40 some odd dollars a piece. I wanna say like 48 bucks a piece when Blue Shark did have them. Again, this was a very limited production run from them. Uh, I don't know if they have plans to bring it back. I guess if you ever wanna see it, if you email them enough, maybe if enough people do, they might consider it. But yeah, surprisingly, this this uh, this sporty NATO strap company, uh, Blue Shark's definitely known for their NATO straps and their rubber straps, uh, happened to just make my favorite leather strap that I've used so far. Go figure. So yeah, the Blue Shark Harween leather straps, uh, I love them to death, and I love pairing them especially with my more vintage style divers uh, during the winter time where it makes a little bit more sense uh, to dress up the watch a little bit.
So those were my four favorite straps uh, that I love to use with my watches. I would love to hear some of your guys' recommendations. Let me know that in the comments down below. If you guys liked this video, hit the thumb down below. If you loved it, make sure you click the red subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you can subscribe to Watch With Us to see all the other great videos that we have from the many content creators here in Watch With Us. And if you wanna see more from me, you can find the link to my channel, The Budding Watch Enthusiast, down in the description below. Thank you guys again very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time here on Watch With Us.